Hello guys, welcome to Solving Solutions here on Bowen Channel where I get solutions to all your solving problems. It's nine seven you in class again today. How have you been? On today's video, we are going to show you how to carry out um thin interpolation using what um actually is right good. So we are going to um create a digital elevation model by interpolating these um this data. So we have um, X, Y, Z coordinates of some points and we are going to use what ArcGIS for the interpolation. So the first thing is that we do what the folder connection, right? Good. So we are working on a folder called interpolation and then we have them um, two data there. Remember the other day we told you the format you need to save your data, right? Good. So we have what our data um, with the double A. So we come down to file, we go to add data, we add what the X, Y data, right? then we browse good so we on the home folder we just move to the folder that what we have connected and then we are looking at this particular data there so we just add it then we look at this sheet and then we also add it right good so our x field is x y field is y then the z field is actually what z then the next thing is what our crs so we click on edit it's actually in projected coordinate reference system. So we come down to UTM, we go to WGS 1984, Northern Hemisphere. Then we select them um, zone 32. We click on OK. Since everything is set, we just click on OK, right? Now the same pop up because the table does not have an object ID field. So we click on OK. Good. So we've actually what um, imported those point data. However, we did not change what the CRS of our layer. So we can just do that um, optionally. Um, it's actually what um, WGS 1984 UTM zone 32. So we can just apply and then click on OK. Good. So the data set and the points are now actually in the same what coordinate reference system. The next thing is for us to come down to search and then look at um, creating what thin so we just type um, create thin it helps us to just um, see through some of the processing tools that um, we have here on ArcMap right good so we just click on search then we have what um, create thin 3d analyst it's actually what a tool so we just click on that now on this um, create thin window they said it creates a triangulated irregular network data set right good so the output by default is actually this directory which we don't want so we want it to be saved to a data set like the folder we have we are working on so let's call this what thin right good so let's call it thin underscore ss the data set is what thin data set then we can just click on save they say the CRS is actually optional, but let's just see. Projected, we come down to UTM, we go to 1984, right? Good. Northern Hemisphere, and then we look at um, zone 32. Okay. Then the um, Impute Fisher class, let's um, load this data. The Z field, the height field is what? The height field is actually our Z, and then some of these um, other settings are actually optional, right? Good. So I haven't done all of these. We can just, okay, you can see the description of these fields, perhaps maybe to guide you. The input um, feature and the um, related properties that will contribute to the definition of the team. Input features, height field and then the type and the tag field assigns the remain numeric attributes to the team's data so perhaps you just go through this um, brief description to see what each of these fields mean so we just click on what's okay our team has been what generated right good so the team of this particular year the triangulated irregular network of this area is actually generated we can put that off and then you know the styling we can just um, double click okay the symbology you know we can see what we can do with the symbology the first thing is the symbology right good now basically this is by default we can either leave it by this default and then we continue however there is something we can still do you know most times when you have what your 
your DTM, so maybe your DMs, they are actually in form of what a raster, right? Good. So we are going to convert this thing to something like um thing to raster, right? Good. So let's um so that we can see a range of values, something like um it can appear differently, which we are going to see very soon because most times it appears that way when we have what are digital elevation models or the digital altering model. So thing to raster then it actually interpolates um, a raster using z values from the input team so our input team is actually on a um, layer panel so that's the thing ss then the output that's not where we need it we don't need it on that document so we browse so we still need it under what's the the folder we are working on so let's call this um raster team so let's call it um, rascal underscore thin, right? Good. So we click on save and let's leave all other options as what as default. So um, hopefully when you read through this brief, what help you can find what a better description of these fields and how they work. So we click on OK. Been created and we have it there. So if we put this out, we can now have what the thing in form of what a raster. So you now see the default um, um, thing that was created. Let's check the properties. And then you also see what the thing that was what created by converting to raster, right? Good. So we can still modify this one by working on the symbology so we come down here then the color ramp let's say we are using what this color ramp of um let's say we are using this color ramp and then let's do this let's now apply you can see what how the um the different colors are being what used to represent our elevation value right good so it's actually a simple walkthrough on how to use what your app map for um, interpolation of what data to produce what um using the team to produce maybe a dtm or whatever the case is right good so thanks for coming to class we hope we've provided solution to this particular um solving problem we are going to see you on our next video. Ensure you keep staying safe and have a very good time. Bye.